in this example let's learn the roof truss modeling loading analysis and design so uh, we'll go for geometry and you can create a Forty meter span, so roughly I can make it as a four meters height, and then I'll give a five meter intermediate nodal points, and fifteen, ten, five, and zero. So now we will go to perpendicular connecting points where we can draw the vertical values. So this will be over here, this will be perpendicular to this, this will be perpendicular to this. And similarly, this will go over here, here perpendicular to the Okay, so now we can go to the node to node beam connecting points, connect this, oh, sorry, I think uh, this was Go to the node to node point and then so now you can close the grid. So this is the way we can able to create the truss. Now the second thing is once you created the truss. So let's create a two points. The first point is actually at the zero level and the second node is at 40 meters back. Right? So we will go down over here and create a zero, five meters length of the member. The Y is actually minus 5 meters downward direction and similarly at the 40 meters in the second end minus 5 meters or even you can make it as a minus 6 or 8 and this is also a minus 8 so draw the beams from here to here and similarly from here to here so let's split these two beams at intermediate level to provide the secondary members insert a node at midpoint so what we are going to do horizontally we can provide a secondary member to control the buckling in major axis direction Okay, so for that what we can do, once we have generated this one, uh, let's select the complete truss member, and go to the geometry, In the translation repeat, we can make maybe, it depends upon the span of the industrial building, for example, it's a 25 meters or even uh, more than that uh, with 5 meter span so we can create a link steps and open the base the base may not require to connect it so in z direction towards us and then once you hit ok so we have a preliminary truss is generated so now all the informations are available in the geometry point of view as a truss member and next session what we need to do we need to find out the proper sections and what is the release conditions 
for the trust member such that we can able to properly analyze and design the structure so that we can learn in the next part thank you please subscribe to engineering solution channel the group of industrial experts and lecturers professors in engineering colleges would like to support to the students and engineers and engineers those who are expecting some kind of help from the industry so we also like to provide uh, help for the final year projects for the students we can also find a uh, suitable uh, projects in abroad here and various companies and uh, similarly we can provide uh, engineering concepts basics from the industrial experts and uh, lecturers and professors from the engineering colleges and also we would like to give a career updates in the latest trends and where the engineering actually is booming at this moment thank you once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, give your feedback and questions we'll come back to you with more details thank you